I have a hub for a 24 inch iMac in my hand. It's a very unusual one, but it's actually so much more. Let me explain. All right, welcome back to the channel. Now this is an interesting video, so stay tuned and watch all of it, please, because you're gonna be shocked at the end of it. Maybe, maybe not, but it'll be fun. So I have this 24 inch, basically it's a dock or a hub, and it's by a company called Satechi. And you've heard of these, this company before. I'll put the link down here so you can see what this is, the name of the hub. And it's not a cheap hub, it's about 125 bucks, all right? Now this is made specifically for the 24 inch iMac that's sitting right over here, and I'll show you exactly why that is in a second. But beyond that, it's made for a lot of other systems, and I actually used them on all my other Macs. I'm going to show you how this is possible and why it actually worked really well for me. It's kind of you know shocking actually, and I'll show you in, in this video. So definitely stay tuned until you see that part. Anyways, the, the hub's right here. It's made out of all aluminum, and Sateki is a company that makes a lot of different quality products. They're based out of California. Um, they make things that are just quality. They make keyboards and a lot of different hubs and devices and things like that. And you've probably heard of them before. Check them out on, on Amazon and stuff. And I'll have a link to this on Amazon just so you can take a little bit more, you know, think about it and see if you guys like it. But let me go ahead and explain this to you and why I actually think this is a cool product. First of all, you're going to notice it's silver, right? Now, I bought this because I do a lot of hubs and stuff on my channel, which is interesting. I always try to find kind of the, the craziest hubs out there. This one in particular, I have a blue iMac, right? What's the deal? So at the time, right now they make this in blue and silver. That's all they make it in. So if you have a yellow iMac, it's not going to work well until you watch the end of the video. But this one's silver, I have a blue one, and that kind of wasn't the best scenario for me. Long story short, though, I found another reason. I'm actually happy that I actually got the wrong one because it was the only one at the time I could get, just to show you what it was, because I found a whole bunch of other reasons why I can use this, and that's what we're going to get into. So without further ado, I've done a lot of hubs for 24-inch iMacs. I'm going to point to one right here, which I'll show you up on the screen. Uh, I did that one a little while ago by a different company. You can check out my channel if you like that one. But this one in particular is very similar in the sense that it slides into the base of this Mac over here, and it works really well. And it has included storage on the bottom of it, which is really cool. You can do up to two terabytes of included storage, and it has a lot of extra ports, which I'll show you. So sit back and relax. I'm going to show you what this thing's all about, how it works, and then I'm going to also show you even further beyond that how I got it to work on all my other Macs in kind of an inventive way, and it works super good for me. So let's get into it. All right, first of all, the intended use, all right? So what this thing does is this thing has a kind of a hole in the bottom, you can see it there, and it'll actually slide right into the base of your iMac. And I'll have close-ups of this because you're gonna be hard to see it here, but it slides into the base of the iMac and it makes it look like you actually, it's built for it, especially when it matches. Mine doesn't match right now, mine's the wrong color. But if you had a blue one, it'll slide right into there just like that. And then basically you take a little cable, it comes with this short cable here, and it connects from the host back here directly into the back of the iMac, and it gives you a whole bunch of different ports, including additional storage, which I'll sh share with you in a second. So the front of it's basically just this nice aluminum, you know, there's nothing on the front, and on this side there's nothing as well. But on the back there's two USB 2.0 ports just for like keyboards, they're the slow ones, they're USB-A, I'm sorry and 2.0, and then it's got a USB-C though, a faster one, 10 gigabits per second that connects directly into your iMac over here. But the kicker is two more things. On the side over here, you get a whole bunch of ports. You get a USB-C data, a USB 3.2, I believe, USB-A 3.2, 10 gigabits per second. So these are both 10 gigabits per second. And then two card readers, the standard and then the micro. Uh, and you get those basically if you have to, you know, they're just easy to, to use than having to go on the back of an iMac. And this one doesn't even have those ports, obviously, so you'd have to add a hub anyway. So that's what that's good for. But the kicker on this also is the bottom. So right here, I'll show you pictures up close. You can go ahead and install hard drives. And you have to install either, it's basically M.2 size, and it takes both M.2 SATA and M.2 NVMe. So both of those, which is actually really cool. So you can actually open up this magnetic compartment, stick it in, and then you have up to two terabytes of storage that sits right underneath your iMac over here. All right. Now what I did is I used this, and I'm going to give a test on this a little bit later, but I used this inland. It's called the QN322. I'll have a link to it in the description. 500 gigabytes for my test, and uh, it was only like 25 bucks, believe it or not, for this drive. And this is NVMe as well. Now it's not the fastest drive, so when you test this, I'll give you a test of the speed in this in a second. But yours would probably be a little bit faster because I kind of got a cheap drive. I just want to disclose that and show you guys a little bit more, you know, kind of what I did there. Um, beyond that in the box also comes a thermal pad for the actual SSD that you install in here. And it comes with, what, some instructions and some cool box and stuff. And that's about it. Very, very simple device. So 
as I kind of talk about this, you know, I, I tested it out and everything works really good. And I'll get into the speed test here at the end of this, all right? So if you want that, you can skip ahead or you can see it as far as what it is. But what, what was the kind of the key thing here with this, all right? So I got the silver one and I'm kind of like, man, I wish I would have got the blue or weighted. Although I show people, I don't really care if it matches. But then I started getting creative, right? So here's my keyboard. I noticed this is about the same size as a keyboard. So what I did is I turned this around and I put my keyboard on it at first. Now my keyboard's blue, this is silver. You can probably see that there. But I noticed that it kind of props up my keyboard and it's really easy to type on. Not only that, it hides the hub and now it gives me all these ports on the side. It gives me all, you know, the port I have to connect into, the, you'll have a cord. You'll have to do a longer cord into your iMac. So if you don't like cords like that, that could be an issue. But with having a cord running in through here, and obviously it's not wireless, I'm adding two terabytes of storage to this, right? So I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. I actually like using it like this as well. But then I started thinking, I got an M2 Mac Mini downstairs. I got a 27-inch iMac over there. So I kind of put this keyboard over here, and I grabbed my 27-inch or my, M, you know, my uh, M2 Mac Mini. I can't even think anymore. But I basically figured, hey, those keyboards are silver. So then I took the silver keyboard, you can see it right here, and I placed it right on top there. Now this device looks like it actually is made for this, right? It looks beautiful, and it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, even this one look good, but this one matches perfectly, the colors match. And now I can take this, the beauty of this, and this is what the extra thing is, is instead of always having on my iMac like that over there, I can actually take this with me, and I can move this to any keyboard that I'm using around my house, and I can always just plug it in, and I can have the two terabytes, or 500 in my case, I'd only added 500, but I can have that extra storage that goes into any of my systems, and it doesn't look crazy. It's got the cord, of course, but it just sits out here. And then when I wanna actually have it slide into my iMac, I can slide it in over here, and I'm fine with that as well. But if you have, you know, if you have a yellow iMac or something, you can still use the hub this way and it works really well. And then I was like, hey, I got an M1 MacBook Air as well. And all I do is I just put the hub behind it like that. And then I have my MacBook here. I type and I have a small cable going in there and then I get the extra storage as well. And you can even put the MacBook right on top of it if you wanted to. So there's a lot of things you can do with this thing. And that's why it's so versatile. I just, I figured that out after the fact, like, hey, you can actually use this. It's the wrong color. And, and so I just found it out and it works perfectly. So I just wanted to kind of share that. All right, so for now, for people that want to see what the test is of the speed on this, I'll go ahead and run that as well. So again, I use this kind of slow drive by Inland. It's a $25 drive. It's an NVMe drive, but it's not rated that high. Anyways, it's cheap, right? So I just, just full disclosure. So I put that in the system down here, and I ran the test. And you can see over on my screen here, I got 708 megabytes per second on the right, 440 megabytes per second on the read. And that was because, obviously, you're going through a bunch of cables and a 10 gigabit per second connection. But at the end of the day, it's not bad. And you can actually edit 4K video. I do it all the time. It's fast enough for that. It's fast enough just but for anything. It can, it can move a gigabit file in, in basically a second. So it's not slow, let's put it that way. And then you can take this wherever you want to go in the house and just set it up. Or you can slide it right into the iMac like I showed you here. And it'll actually, if it was the right color, it would look perfect, right? But I didn't get the right color. Um, and I'm not sure now. You can always go back to the manufacturer and ask them. I'm not sure if they're going to make all the different colors of the iMacs or anything like that. Right now, like I said, they only have silver and blue. I have a blue one, but I just bought wrong. And, uh, you know, you can get whatever you want or you can choose to use it. If you get the silver one, if you have a white keyboard and a silver keyboard, it'll work kind of like the way I just showed you. So at the end of the day, this is just a showcase video. So don't come after me saying, oh, that's stupid, or this is not fast enough, or this or that doesn't have uh, Thunderbolt. I know all that stuff, right? The thing is, is this is just a fun video to show you what's available, what's out there, and be creative with stuff. I mean, I found one thing that I could find and I could use it on all my computers and it looks fairly good to me. Obviously, there's a cord, but when I don't want it sitting there, I just take it away and I put it away and I move it to the next system. And it just, you know, obviously, I only use the storage when I need it and it's a perfect solution for my home base. You know, obviously, if you're traveling, it's too big of a hub or a dock, but when you're home, it works really good. So anyways, if you guys can support my channel, it's gonna really help me out. And I do a lot of videos like this, with just kind of support the small, small companies, although this is a bigger company than most of the ones I usually work with. And obviously I did one recently with them as well. And this is a basically a M uh, M2 Mac Mini over here, a hub for that, it fits right underneath it. And you can check my video out on that, but that's by Sateki as well, all aluminum and stuff like that, and it worked really well. But this hub is just so unique that I thought I had to mention it. So you guys let me know in the comments. These are kind of fun videos. I'm not telling you to go buy it. I'll have a link in there, it'll help the channel, but only buy it if you need it, right? Or only buy it if you wanna kind of explore what's available and stuff. But um, it has to be right for you. I obviously, there's some, some caveats to it, including some of, you know, the price can be a little bit higher than some people might wanna pay, but it's cool, right? And uh, it's technology and I love people that innovate like this. You gotta check them out and just check out their website. They're a great company. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.